I mean, I've got Nishta Midha with me, who scored 100% in three subjects. Congratulations. And her proud parents also, Anil and Renu. Now, Nishta, when you read the cutoffs this morning in the newspapers, you must have thought it would be easy to walk into a college of your choice. Now, what do you think? I feel that 100% cutoff is something that it is simply, it's, it's not achievable. Like you scoring, did it in three subjects. Yeah, but I failed in the fourth one. Failed means you got 95%. I that's could not, not like, I failed from the 100 mark that way. So I would just like to say that, uh, yeah, we were expecting an inflated list, but 100% is something which uh, is like quite difficult. But I would also like to add that this 100% is for that student who has neither maths nor, econo nor economics, nor business studies, nor accounts. So uh, if we calculate the percentage of students who have this combination is quite less. And for such a student to aim for BCom honors is even a rare thing. Mm -hmm. So it's the rarest of rare combination which will be affected by this 100%. Sure, but you're saying that that means that suppose you had one of them, but still the point is that you had 100%. Two of them. No, but still the point is that you can't get in because you haven't got 100% in all four. So it, it actually does cut, uh, cut out many students who may have had two subjects, maths or economics, and still can't get in. But then, see, the uh, highest is 98.75. And for my category, 99 is the list. So I do get into it. But the combination for which 100% has been put up is for a very small percentage of students. Like it's uh, um, normally in class 12, everyone has one of the subjects which have been mentioned right. uh, in the list. So that's, so, a, so that's a silver lining in a way. But as I said, <laughs> don't use the word fail when you're still working on 95%. <laughs> NDTV's Cricket App. Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free. NDTV.com/apps.